My name is Adam Schreck and I'm a production consultant with Feedlot Management Services in Okotoks, Alberta. And today I'm going to talk to you about temper rolling of grains. Uh, as John alluded to, the importance of grain processing is, is, a, is a delicate balance where too little of grain processing results in poor performance and poor utilization of the grain, whereas too great or too intensive a processing method is, uh, poses risk for uh, poor performance but also animal health Im implications. These animal health implications include risk of bloat and other metabolic disease. And this is especially magnified in this day and age as we've made cattle bigger and we've added many days to the feeding period. Thus, we've increased their risk for uh, succumbing to various types of metabolic disease. This risk in terms of grain processing comes from the production of fines. And the premise of grain tempering is to basically process grain, improve particle size, but at the same time also reduce the amount of fines that are present in that final product that's hitting the bunk. What is tempering exactly? So tempering is the addition of water to grain prior to rolling. Generally this am amount of water that is added to the grain is about six to ten points of moisture. When and this occurs usually uh, when grain is received and then it's, the moisture is added in a horizontal leg and then it is allowed to sit in a tempering bin. Usually this process takes 12 to 24 hours, but at practical large scale feedlot production where a lot of grain is moving through the feedlot, this tempering can be as short as four hours in many cases. Regardless of the time it sits in the bin, after it exits it goes through a roller mill. Hopefully it's, it's rolled to a uh, adequate processing degree of 65 to 75 percent. This is an example of the particle size distribution between dry rolled barley and, all, and temper rolled barley. And as you can see in this graph, there's a lot greater proportion of larger particles which are on the left hand side of the figure compared to the very fine particles on the right hand side. And while ideally processed barley has five to seven percent fines, when it is dry rolled, if we temper roll that grain, we can reduce the amount of fines uh, to less than 1% uh, by, this, by doing so. And this has uh, obviously some important implications for animal health. To think of it differently, if we look at three samples of grain that's either dry rolled, temper rolled, or steam flaked, um, we can see that by increasing uh, the processing intensity by either tempering or the most extreme by steam flaking, which uh, some might say is a very advanced form of tempering. What we're doing is, it, is increasing the particle size on average, but we're also reducing the particle size variation uh, by tempering. And if we look in the, in the published literature for the average response to tempering over dry rolling, the general conclusion would be that uh, tempering has yielded little response over grain that has been dry rolled. However, if we look consistently in the literature, uh, most of the response still favors grain that has been tempered. Uh, a lot, we interpret that to find that a lot of these small pen studies that uh, produced the research while um, are, are extremely valuable weren't uh, able to have the su sufficient power to detect a difference between each of the individual studies. With that said, if we look at the studies that have been conducted recently, on average we're still, we're still seeing an advantage for tempering compared to dry rolling, and on average this advantage is about 3.5 to almost 4% in terms of improved conversion. Assuming that that response is real and using today's current commodity costs, um, and if we assume that the cost of tempering adds um, anywhere from a dollar to two dollars more per metric ton of finished grain, this value would be estimated to, be, to sit anywhere from eight to almost twelve dollars a head, depending on the amount of weight gain put on by the cattle. So in summary, uh, depending on your situation, if you have a tempering facility, uh, we, we would expect this to yield significant value to your operation already compared to if that grain was dry rolled or if you're thinking about temp adding tempering to your grain processing, uh, we think that is an important discussion to have with your nutritionists and other people involved in your production. Thank you.